Hello everyone, I'm Fembo87, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use Lightworks. And I did a version, I tried to do a tutorial a while ago, a couple months ago, and it messed up, I messed up. So let's try and do better this time. But yeah, I'm going to show you just the basics on how to use Lightworks, and how I edit my YouTube videos. So... The nice thing about Lightworks is it's a good editing software. It's easy to use once you get the hang of it. It's a little complicated at first, but it's easy after a while. And the best part about it, guess how much it is? It's free. It's completely free to download. I will leave a download link in the description below. You can check that out. Also, if you want to see my original screw-up on my attempt to do this last time, you can check that out in the description as well. But, I assure you, this version will be a lot better, and a lot more helpful, hopefully. We'll see. Um, otherwise, let me know if you guys want to know more about how to use Lightworks. This is just a basic tutorial on how I edit my videos. So, we're going to take a video that's probably never going to see the light of day. That way I don't care about screwing up on it or editing mess-ups. So, for... I'm using Action, which basically sets apart your audio and your... that you use to talk and the audio from the game itself. So you have to put those two together in an editing software. It just so happens I use Lightworks. So, what we do here is we open it up, open up the file, we're just going to nickname this Jedi Outcast VS. Why not? Now, this is a good idea here. You want to organize your files. So, you want to create a bunch of files and just separate everything out easily. Then you have to go to the sound. Jedi Outcast Sound BS. And then we'll just put that in the same folder. Alright, once we do that, we open up Lightworks. Takes a little bit to load up. There's only two downsides to it, and I'll be getting to them really shortly, and they're they're minor ones. Ah, I just popped my leg. That sounds great, doesn't it? Oh well, we'll just start all this. Star Wars Jedi Outcast BS. Create. That's how we create a file thing. So here. You start with this, get rid of this for a second, and you have a little pad here. You have the ability to import clips, video edits, and whatnot. You have the ability to create a new edit, which is basically this. This is your little desk of magic where you can edit the video, edit the clip, and do whatever. We're just going to go over some basics. and. This is just some other stuff, and then this is how to export it. I'll get into other stuff deeper if you guys want more, but I'll just go over the basics for now. So you go to videos, and first before we get anything else, we go to my intro folder. If you guys got an intro, go to your intro folder wherever you stored it. That's not important, but then you go to videos. Now you go to the file you created. So, let me see. Star Wars Stivs. And there's our video. This video isn't long at all. It's just something I made. I know it's not going to see the light of day, but I figured it'd be good to use in a tutorial. So, we put the intro down, and it's on our timeline. And then we put this down. Now, 
then the last thing we do, we might have to do this one or two times, is we line the sound up. Now let's see if the sound looks good. Hello everyone, I'm Film 47 and really... Yeah, so alright, the sound looks good, it's lined up. Now, say I don't like a certain section in my video, say I want to make a cut. You know those really cool cuts that some YouTubers do? I can't do half of that with this, but say you just want to eliminate something, like you're traveling across the map and you want to eliminate some video that's boring. So the easiest way to do that, there are two ways you could go about doing it. You can either, but they both involve this. Hello everyone, I'm Film 47 and really this is just a test. Yeah, it is just a test. So, say I want to just, there, alright, so say I want to cut a huge section out, so I could go about doing that two ways, I could either replace it with black, which, if I did that, would allow me to say, put another inch, oops, <laughs> put another intro right into that space. So basically by doing that, you can... You can, um... Basically cut sections out and replace them with just black, and you could stick something else in there if you want. Like a please stand by, or just some... or commercial break, or some stupid shit. Or, you could just close the gap, so to speak. And what that does, let me show you. That closes everything up so that, that way when you when your intro is done or whatever's done it just jumps hello it just jumps right to that isn't that neato also this is a back button so in case you didn't like what you did you can go back and you can rethink things or you can redo things as much as you want anyways so otherwise there's really nothing el much else to this except one thing I'm gonna show you how to say add a face cam if you wanted to add a face cam you don't have the ability to do it from here say you wanted to add a face cam Let's just grab a random face cam. Who cares? Um, let's see. Go to my reaction videos folder. So, what we do here is we would click add tracks add video and we would add a add that there and then we go to effects and we can stick it in the top right corner and you can adjust settings here so you could have it to the left, to the right, up or down. You could do it any way you want. And this, what does this do? Yeah, you could have it, you could adjust it how, in some crazy ways. Make it lighter or darker. It's cool stuff, man. So that's how you would add a face cam, if say you had a face cam from Movie Maker. Also, you'll be seeing a cut here to know that I can actually make cuts. Anyways, that was just to show you how to put a face cam in. So we'll just undo that. Alright. Then, we can export the video. Now here is, are the two issues. 
One, this slows down everything else that's going on. And two, whenever you export a video, I don't know why I've never really been able to solve it that well. I tried it in the other one and it didn't work at all. But whenever I try to to export it, it always exports a full 30 minute video and the rest of this is just black. It's just a black screen. It's just this. Well, I figured a way around that. And it's kind of annoying, but you know what? And it takes a little longer, but you know what? It works. It's a good method. So, we're going to go ahead, we click export, and I'll just call this Star Wars Jedi Outcast BS. And we start exporting, and I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. So, stay tuned. Okay, so now that this has finally exported, we're going to open it in its file location. Now, obviously, it's outside of all these videos and whatnot. Now, as I told you before, Lightworks has a problem where it's just a bunch of black that makes a 30 minute long video. And that's not necessary. You don't need, it doesn't need to be that long. If it doesn't need to be. So, what you want to do, and this is a very simple way to do it, you just, if you have Movie Maker, that's how you do it. So you're just going to open it in Movie Maker. We're going to give it a little bit to load. So basically, in Movie Maker, you can end it and basically settle that problem very easily. And I'll probably cut this part out, so stay tuned. Okay, now that we're finally got all that squared away... Okay, so that's proof that it works. So, it's really easy to shorten the video. You see all this black? That's the audio. You won't see any audio because it's just black footage all the way down the line. You don't want that. So just go to the end of your video and go to edit and then set endpoint. Boom! Your video is the exact length or at least close to the exact length you want it to be. Now, all you have to do then is just go to home and save your video to the location of your choice. We're going to save it here. Our wars. Outcast. BS. Complete. Just so it doesn't get confused with other files. Save it, and you're done. You just wait for this to get done exporting, and all you do then, as soon as this is done, stay tuned. In the meantime, I'm not going to upload it, I'm just going to show you where to go. So, we're pretty much done here, I mean, And boom, it's done. Then all you have to do is come here, go to anywhere with YouTube, that, and that says upload. 
It could be your YouTube channel. It could be someone else's channel. It could just be YouTube in general. It could just be a network that's part of YouTube. And if it says YouTube... My apologies. You just go to upload. Mine's taking forever. Anyways, you all get the idea. But yeah, that's how I edit my YouTube videos, and really, that's that's what I do. The long and short of it. That's how you use Lightworks. That's the basics on it, on how I use it. And here we are. So all you do now is you just push the upload button, go to your videos, wherever you stored it. Start with stuffs, and you just store it in here. You just open it up here. God damn it. And, yeah, that's all there is to it. That's how you upload videos, and that's all there is to it. So let me know if you guys want to see more tutorials on other shit. Anyways, I'm Femboy D7, and I'm signing out. Peace.